Former Trump lawyer, Sidney Powell, according to her, is facing $4.3 billion in defamation suits from voting companies because she has been out there uh, essentially lying, according to the companies, about what took place in the 2020 election. And recently, her lawyers went to court and they made this argument word for word. Here it is. Um, <laughs> sorry. No reasonable person would conclude that the statements were truly statements of fact, but that they were quote, her opinions and legal theories on a matter of utmost public concern. Now there's a reason that her attorneys are trying to, uh, you know, change the way she said these things into opinions rather than statements of fact. You can't be sued for defamation over your opinions. That's a fact here in the United States. And it's a good one because everybody's entitled to opinions. If you make it as a statement of fact, however, you can be sued for defamation. So why is all this relevant now? Well, remember two weeks ago when Marjorie Taylor Greene went over to Dallas, uh, not Marjorie Taylor Greene, excuse me, Sydney Powell went over to Dallas and she gave a little speech to that uh, Q crowd there. She had this to say, which completely undermines her legal defense. I don't think they realized that some of us litigators were going to catch on and hold their feet to the fire and expose what really happened or that they could shut us up by say, suing me for $4.3 billion in three different States. Threatening me is like waving a red flag in a bull's face. Okay. That's bad enough. But she continued. Number one, they don't have jurisdiction over us. And number two, we meant what we said and we have the evidence to back it up. Your legal defense just came crashing to the ground, Sydney. You meant what you said. You literally, and there's multiple videos, by the way, to back this up. You came out and said, we meant what we said. Your defense is done. At that point, when those words came out of your lawyer mouth, to that crowd, you just lost your case. There is virtually nothing that Sidney Powell can do at this point, because this is now out there in the ether. There are videos of this. There's nothing she can do to win this case. Nothing, nothing at all. But I also have one more question. You have the evidence to back it up. You say Mike Lindell swears he has the evidence to back it up. Where's the evidence? Where's the evidence? People have been asking you, including right-wingers have been asking for this so-called evidence since a few days past the November election. Tucker Carlson specifically admitted on the air, like we asked them for this. They never gave it to us. So even your friends and allies are saying, Hey, if you've got the evidence, give it to us so we can present it. We can blow the whole thing wide open. And they haven't been able to do it because as we all know, the evidence doesn't exist. Powell has also said she's looking forward to the lawsuit because discovery. And then at that point, they get to go through all of, you know, dominions stuff and find the real answers. And that puts them on the offense. She says, instead of on the defense, no, it doesn't. Your case is over. You made the statement. We meant what we said End. done cut Fini. There's nothing you can do at this point. You've lost. So is she going to end up having to pay $4.3 billion? Absolutely not. Um, that is an astronomical number. And of course the courts are going to lower that. And what's most likely going to happen is that because of the, you know, very large amount of money they're facing, they're probably going to try to settle. If they're smart, they're going to try to settle. And if these voting companies are smart, they're not going to let her do that. Don't make her go to court make her stand trial, force her to expose the evidence she allegedly has. Cause Hey, if there really is evidence, we should know about it. Give her the opportunity to do it. Cause you already know you've got this case in the bag. You're not going to walk away with billions, but you're going to walk away with everything that Sidney Powell has ever had most likely. And maybe in the process, get her disbarred as well. Because if she's stupid enough to go out there and make these comments, knowing that it directly contradicts her legal defense, then she doesn't deserve to still be a lawyer in the United States.